Hey, what's up SaaS Masters? My name's George and today I'm going to be showing you how to make money with Hexel Watch. Now, if you want to view a complete video of what Hexel Watch can do, that link will be in the description. In this video, we're going to be focusing on how to make money with it. So let's get started and let's talk about how to make money with Hexel Watch. All right. So what Hexel Watch can do is monitor websites with their visual changes, with HTML, words, and different type of changes. Now, how are we going to make money with it? All right, so let's just say you have a marketing agency and you have clients that you built websites for them, or maybe they're just physical clients and they want to know what the competitors are doing. So imagine going to your client and offering them that you will be monitoring your competitor's site for any changes. It could be visual changes. It could be price changes for a, for a specific product. And let's just say you have your client has a furniture store, a local furniture store, right? And they have, I don't know, three to four different competitors around there and they have their own website. Well, you can monitor those websites for them. Now, remember, Hexo Watch works on monitoring events. So imagine them offering, offering your client uh, changes for every, I don't know, six hours, 12 hours. And trust me, they will be blown away by something like this. You understand that you're using Hexo Watch. So you're like, okay, this is a piece of cake. But for them, it would be like, whoa, that's really interesting. You offer me this service to monitor their sites and sending me their changes. Uh, that's really good, right? Now, the way that we are going to do this is by using Hexo Watch's webhooks. So how is this going to work? I will be showing you, you that on my desktop right now. So this way, using webhooks is that everything's going to be white labeled. So it's not going to be showing you, it's not going to be showing your client Hexo Watch on this. So let's jump over to my desktop and show you what I'm talking about. So let's head on over there. All right, this is HexaWatch's dashboard. And like I said before, we are going to use webhooks. And in this case, I will be using Pavly Connect, but you can use other connection softwares out there that have webhooks, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is add an URL right here. And you have different type of monitors right here. Like I said before, the complete video will be in the description. In this case, we're gonna select visual monitoring and we are going to grab an URL right here. So uh, let me grab something right here. I'll just grab this Hexel Watch URL. Well, actually I'll go to Pavly Connect. All right, so I wanna to go to pavly.com. All right, so let's just grab this site right here for testing purposes. We will be adding the site right there, preview, and we're gonna wait for that to load. And imagine this doing this for, I don't know, two, three, four, five sites that your clients have as competitors. Obviously, you would have to set up your package or the plan that you want to offer your client would say, you know what, uh, up to five sites or three sites and how much time you want to monitor these. For example, let's just say you offer your mo your client once a day. You, you check their site once a day. That's only gonna cost, well, it won't cost you much, right? But it's gonna be one event a day. So that's 30 events a month, that's nothing. Or you could set it to 12 hours, that would be 60 events a month, or just something that would be attractive, I would say six, six to 12 hours, right? So let's just say six hours, you are going to monitor, I don't know, this part, for example, and you would set how much change do you want to monitor, right? So for example, if you click any change, so anything that moves on that side, it's gonna detect it. So I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend something over 20% but you set it to what you want, right? Depending what you're going to monitor. And the next thing that we're gonna do is use the web hook. So for that, like I said before, we're gonna use Pavly Connect. Let's create a brand new workflow and we're gonna call this Hexo Watch uh, Testing, all right? Let's create that one. We are going to select web hook. We're gonna copy this web hook because it's going to receive the information from Hexo Watch to Pavly Connect web hook, all right? And we're gonna paste it here. And before we continue, we're going to click on capture webhook. All right, we're gonna leave that capturing there. And if we're, right, we're set with all the things that we want right here, like email notifications, if you want to receive it or not, or pause or the dates that you want to schedule that, then you're good to go, all right? Let's start monitoring. Okay, press okay. And HexaWatch is done, all right? He's monitoring to the settings that you set. Let's go over to Pavly Connect. And since we set the webhook to capture the information, this is the information that we got from Hexel Watch. All right. So the data that we get here is, for example, we have the ID, which is something that your client is not interested in. The title, 
This is something they will be interested in. The monitor to Earl, so for the, the site of your competitor. The name, for example, that's something you might want to add. Um, create a date, not that. The change percentage could be something that your client might need. The link, the old data, so the old image, the new image, and the difference that changed. So they would see that there. And conditional values, something that shouldn't be there. All right, let's go to next. And what we're going to do here, right here, here, in this case, we can add SMTP, all right, by Public Connect. But in this case, we'll make it really fast. We're going to use Gmail. Obviously, um, if you're going to do this for clients, make it white label. Use your own domain so it looks professional. In this case, we're just going to use that. Let's send an email, connect with Gmail. I already have my credentials right here, so I'll just hit save. And you can set recipient's name. So, for example, let's just say your recipient name, your client is Tom, and his email, I'll put my own, but you would put your client's email there. And from, uh, you could say, like, marketing agency, from email, like, who is this email coming from? Like I said, use a white label one there. Email subject, like, um, client monitoring, all right, for site, X, 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 all right. The email message, all right. Here is where the data is going to come from that you're going to grab from HexoWatch. So we're going to use the variables by clicking right here. So let's just say first we're going to say, we're going to say, hello, Tom. These are the changes found on the service you hired. All right. Enter. And we're going to say title. And the title is going to grab it from the variables that we got. So this is a variable from the Hexel Watch information. So the title from the event, we're going to, next variable we're going to use is the Earl. Okay. So we're going to say Earl monitored, right? And we're going to add the variable. So that Earl, right? Oh, that's the Earl. Yes. Oh, that's the name of the monitor to Earl. So we're going to need the Earl. Name of the monitor, Earl, Earl, that event is detected, okay? Next thing we're going to change is um, new change, example, all right? And that's going to be, no, it's going to say the old data, okay? Old, old data, okay? And new change change data, for example. These are examples. You can write your email however you want. I'm just showing you. And this is the new data. And next one is percentage change. And that should be percentage. Where is that? OK, change percentage. And last, we're going to say changes. And let's add that right here. Difference data. All right. And you can finish off with your like signature or something like that. Thank you for using our service. Okay. And blah, blah, blah. What do we want to add there? Save and send. Okay. Now, what it's going to do right now, it's not going to send data because there hasn't been changes on that side. But once a change is made, when it's detected, it's going to send out this email. So how is that email going to look? Let me show you right here. This is a test I already I already did. And for example, I just said title, Earl, percentage, and I didn't set the information here, but you get the idea of how that's going to look. Um, let me show you what the email looks like from the test that I sent right now. So let me go back. All right, so this is the one that the information that's going to be sent. So you got the hello, Tom, blah, 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 the title, the Earl, the old data, the new changes, and obviously the variable is going to be added to those changes. This is just to show you the email, how it's going to look, right? All right. So I just went back to the email that I already done test on that sent the change. Now it's sent from the name I set from the email I said, obviously it's going to be your email. Like I said, we got the title, the variable, the Earl, the variable. So for example, I tested sasmaster.net for changes. The percentage of change is 32%. And these are the images. For example, this is the old image. And for example, the new one, it changed fairly, like it changed the way it looked, like it moved. And you will see those changes right here. For example, the change there. In this case, I didn't set the change to the percentage. It's just showing me everything that changed in red. 
because everything did move from the site before. But you get the idea that you could send this, this data out to your client with all the information like you need in a neat and fashion manner right here. For example, imagine, like I said before, offering this to your client where they can actually benefit from the changes that their competitors are doing. They're getting a head start, or at least they're getting the information as soon as they make a change. So if the site is updated, if the deal they made is updated or anything like that, they will get that information straight to their email with all this information on autopilot. So you don't have to get this information. You don't have to write up the email manually. You don't have to send it out. Everything's going to be done automatically using Hexawatch and webhooks. Like I said, in this case, I'm using Pavly Connect, Pavly Connect to show you how it works, but you can use other services also that have webhook. But you get the idea right there of what you can do with it. Now, that's a really great way to make money with your clients and impress them like by actually offering this service. This is not common. I haven't seen people saying like, hey, you know what? I will monitor your competitors and I will notify you of changes, right? And you're, you're doing this automatically without spending hours or days or time or writing anything up. You set this up, a one-time setup, make sure it works the way you want it with the percentage, the information, the title, and all that stuff, and you're good to go, right? And just cash in, man. Just offer your clients that and you get some money uh, weekly, monthly, or yearly, however you want to offer your service to them, and you're good to go. Well, that is one way to make money with Hexawatch. I bet you there's several more, but that's one of them that I think is really interesting and makes you a unique agency offering this. Well, thank you for watching. My name's George. This is SaaS Master, and I thank you all for watching this video. Bye-bye.